guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome I'm so glad that you are here if you are a part of the also oh pretty squad and you've been watching my videos for a while thank you for coming back this video is gonna be another fun video I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes of how I create my very first market setup so I'll be giving you behind the scenes of how it went and giving you a checklist so if you plan on doing a market in the near future that you'll be ready and ready to go. I used the list when I was getting ready for the market and it really helped me. Um, we pretty much took everything that we needed to take. There were a few things that I didn't take but I'm gonna make sure you take them on your next market or your very first market. So let's get right into the video. Hey guys, so I just left home, no, Lowe's, and just picked up all the things for my display. It's gonna be, I kind of worked it out. I had one thought in my head when I went into Lowe's, but then as I was there and looking for the materials that I needed, I kind of went with a different idea because I thought at first I was gonna have it more taller, but I was able to find some pre-cut pre -cut boards. I think it's plywood. I'll let you guys know for sure, but I think it's plywood and it was just more of a square um, um, size. So I decided to go with that instead. So I'll see how that works. I might end up making a taller one later, just depending on, you know, how many more markets that I do. But so I have that. And so now I'm just going to focus on um, finding a table because I want to have a standard table so I know I want to get like a fold-up table so I know exactly what size I always have like I don't want to have to depend on like markets and stuff to have tables just want to have my my own table so I know I can depend on the size so I want to think uh I'm basing everything on maybe a six foot table that I can fold in half to make it just easier to travel with it so yeah that's the plan so that and then i'm going to work on my tablecloth and some other signage so i'll just make sure you guys keep you up to date on what step we're on and then hopefully we'll be able to lay everything out and yeah i'm excited to get it done so i can't wait to show you guys all right so here you are seeing me painting the trim for the display this is going to serve as the, the trim it's going to be all black i just kind of went with my brand colors which are typically like blacks pinks um, some gray white and black so this design is actually a design that i have on my studio wall in my office so I decided to just carry that right on to this display board. I basically got trim from Lowe's, had them cut it down, and then I adhered it with wood glue and some small nails to the plywood. I also took a hinge, a gold hinge, and I put it on the back of the plywood. Here's my tablecloth. Um, I got this tablecloth from Amazon. It was only about 13 bucks. And then I used my Cricut to print out or cut out my um, logo on HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl, and which then I pressed it onto the tablecloth. Well, actually, Amber pressed it onto the tablecloth. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amber. Um, so, yeah. It came out really nice. I still have one more part to add, but whatever. All right, so this is in the studio. We are preparing to get everything ready for the show. We're frantically putting together pieces, putting them on cards, pricing everything. One of the tips that I got when I was preparing for the market is to make sure you price everything individually so when people are shopping through your um, table, they don't continue to have to ask you, like, what's the price of this? What's the price of this? What's the price of that? If you have all the um, items marked with the prices, it'll be so much easier easier for your guests because sometimes people don't want to ask every little thing that you know how much it is so that was a great tip I got and I hope you take this tip and make sure everything is priced individually at your market setup okay what you're seeing right here is my table oh my gosh I just love how it turned out you know when you have that vision in your head and you're like is it gonna turn out the way I want it to 
who really knows but i mean what do you think i think it came out so amazing so this is just a little shot of it but obviously you'll see more you'll see more i love it okay so let's get into this checklist you're just gonna see us at the market in the background and you can kind of see how everything was set up but i'm going to just run through this list to make sure you know exactly what you need to have so the first thing is you want to have a table you want to have a foldable table and the reason why i say you want to provide your table i know some markets come and they say they provide a table but if you get a custom tablecloth then you want to know that your tablecloth is always going to fit your table so like i said in the beginning this is a six foot table with a custom six foot tablecloth so that's table tablecloth you want to have that you also want to have some type of display so you want to be able to display your jewelry on something um, and not just have everything flat on the table so as you saw I created this amazing stand that had some height that can really display the jewelry but then I also just um, disperse them throughout different textural things on the table so I had some round, some some display, like tall little display things. Also had some flat little display things just to really mix it up so everything just wasn't flat on the table. You see my packing stand back there. It's so important to have some area where you can package everything up so bringing a small additional table seemed to work out really well for us and that was like last ditch moment thing I thought the night before like oh this wrapping we need to be able to be able to package things we have all of our food in our little cart we had music we also had tons of ice and water one of the tips that I got um, when I was preparing for the market was to bring cold water with ice because there are so many times where you know you might have customers come up and they're like oh um they're like oh you know they're looking hot you know it's hot outside so it's like okay let me um offer some free water so many people thought they had to pay for it I'm like no it's free it's just a way to just you know give back to people who are shopping and it's hot so I, that was a big hit just to have that water people were very thankful um the people that took it some people seemed so hot and they didn't take it and that's fine but the rest of the people who actually did take it i was like they were very 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 thankful um you want to also have scissors if your site has a power you might want to have an extension cord um you definitely want to have a tent we had someone next to, next door to us that did not have a tent oh my gosh we felt so sorry for her we gave her one of our fans we gave her some of our water just because i mean i felt horrible that she didn't have a tent but it was also her first market so maybe she didn't know what to expect um having a carpet or something like that in front of your your table is such a nice touch because it just makes it a little bit more comfy and people just want to walk up and obviously it says this is our happy place so it's just like a fun little touch um one of the things that i did not have that was on the list but i just didn't see any value in bringing it for some odd dumb reason is a cash bank or bank lockbox that's why you saw me walking around with my crossbody because that's what I had to use for cash because I did not bring a, a bank box. Like, I did not think that, okay, people are probably going to pay cash and I need change. So, don't forget to bring, like, dollar bills um, with you. I would probably bring about $30 bills just so you can give back change, maybe a couple fives and a couple tens. I didn't have a lot of problems with that. But it's just something that I just kind of disregarded for whatever reason. I'm not sure why. The next thing you want to have is some like a backup power charger for your phone. So I my music doubled as my charger. So in a couple clips, you'll see this little pink box in behind my table. That was the music, but it was also a charger. It's a JBL. It was game changer um they did have like a live band so that kind of sucks sometimes we had to turn off the music because they had this live band but yeah yeah also you want to make sure that you have your business cards or brand postcards 
um, any you want to have your chair you saw we had our chair back there um, so you can pop a squat if you need to it was so hot I sat down way more than I wanted to but it was just very hot people um, we want to have some type of banner or signage um, so that's why I opted to do my name on the tablecloth eventually I do want to have a banner that I can hang on like the back of the tent as well make sure you have a calculator or you can just use your phone obviously you got to have your product you want to have a pen and a paper in case you need to write anything down you also want to have your trash bags this is something another thing that I was like oh we don't need that it was on the list but I still didn't bring it I was dumb because we did have food and drinks and like then we had really nowhere to put the trash so we did have a couple trash couple like shopping bags that we used for trash bags but yeah it was just it was um, it was one of those things that I'm like, why didn't I? I just negated that for whatever reason. You also want to make sure that you bring a mirror. So if you do jewelry or cosmetics or anything that someone might want to look at themselves with it on, you know, if you do clothing or apparel, you want to bring a mirror. You also want to have something on your table that you can collect um, either emails or have them sign up so that's one of the things that I kind of did not execute well but I kind of know what I want to do for next time for one tip that I you have to know is that in order to bring all the pieces together you have to have an amazing squad thank you so much Amber Courage Ashley Laverta and Maggie I literally could not have done it without them all right, so I'm so excited that you had the opportunity to watch this video. Hopefully you were able to get some tips and some tricks that will help you on your next market setup. If you have loved this video, make sure you give me a like down, right down. Just hit that like button. It doesn't cost you anything. Like, it's free to like this video but most importantly what would help me support my channel so much is if you would just hit that subscribe button it just makes a huge difference number one when I post new content you'll be the first one to be alerted um, so that's fun right you want to see the new it's like a new episode on TV like yes I want to watch it so make sure you subscribe don't forget to comment down below let me know what was your favorite part of this video let me know if you're planning on doing a market in your area soon and if you're here for TGIW, woo, woo, don't you just love four amazing channels coming together, making amazing content for you to watch on a Wednesday night. Like, where else would you rather be? Make sure you say what's up to us in the comments. Myself, Olivia, Amber, and Courage. And until the next time, peace. Wait, wait, wait. Before you leave, I want you to grab this absolutely free checklist. It's right here in the description section of this video. Download it. And if you are doing a market or a pop-up shop, I hope this checklist is as valuable as it was for me. It really, truly helped me prepare for the market. And I know that it will help you too. So download in the description box. See you next time.